Okay, leak papers, what to do? How is it going to affect your grade boundaries and are you going to reset? Listen, I'm going to keep this very raw and true because I think that it's very important that you see this from a different type of mindset that I've seen a lot of people here just kind of over analyzing and trying to make these like this and that and just, it, it, listen man, it's a waste of time and I'm gonna tell you why, okay? If you think that leaked papers is the first time that this has happened, you're wrong. This has happened, you know, certain different times as well in the past. And you have to understand that we're living in a social media world. These things do happen. Now, I get that you feel angry. I get that you feel like there's an injustice because you're putting the work in and you are, you know, putting the effort in. And there's some people out there that just think it's okay to cheat, right? That's fine. I understand that. And they will get what they, what they will get, right? But you have to also understand this is that these things, that if people, if someone wants to cheat, it is out of your control. There's nothing you can do. Let's be real here. There's nothing you can do if someone wants to cheat. And let's just say this as well. There's probably going to be lead papers for the other subjects that you're about to do. How do you know that's going to not, not going to happen? Right? Like you have to understand like that could also potentially happen. But that is outside your control. There's nothing you can do. But what you can do and what is in your control is, okay, I have to do all this work. I have to still focus on these topics and I have to focus on these exam questions because I still have to do this for my next exams. That is in your control. That is something that you can do. A lot of people I'm, I'm, I've seen, right, and I'm just looking at this and they're saying like, oh my gosh, because they're going to bring the grade boundaries high, I'm not going to get the marks. Okay, but how about doing, how about looking at it like this? Why don't you put the work in and try and do as much as you can to, and not think about just because it's the grade boundaries that you're not going to get the marks? Can you see that? I hope you can understand that, right? Yes, the grade boundaries could go high. It might, it, it, it might happen, it might not. We don't know. The reset, no, it's not gonna happen. I don't think so anyway, because with what happened with COVID before, which completely messed up, messed a lot of people up, I don't think they're going to make this again into a bigger deal than it was like last time. They're trying to, they'll probably try and make this problem become less. They'll make this problem become, you know, smaller, but a smaller problem because of what happened in the previous two years. So that's very highly unlikely, I would say. But what you can do right now is like, literally focus on what you have to do. You can't control what's happening on the external you know, world. And this is another thing, right? And I'm, I'm gonna keep this very, I'm gonna say this as it is, is that you are gonna come up in life, in your later stages of your life, where you've done everything, you've worked, you've done everything right, and there's someone who hasn't done that, but still got ahead of you. And you, in your mind, you think, man, this is so unfair. This is so, such an injustice. Listen, man, that is the way the world works. The way, unfortunately, works where people would do those things. So I'm just trying to expand your mind to real, make you realize that this is not just happening in education. Even when you're outside of education, these things happen day in, day out. The world is a very, it's a very difficult place to live in, right? In the sense that you will be brought down to your knees. You will be rejected. You will be failed. Even when you've done everything right, you will still be rejected. Things will come to you where you feel like, hold up, there was, I didn't do anything wrong and I still got rejected. I didn't do anything wrong and this person did better than me, even though he didn't do the path that I went. Or she didn't do this path, the same path that I did. She didn't do the amount of work or etc. That will happen, man. That's happened to me many times. And what I'm seeing here is that a lot of people are just like, oh my gosh, because of the great boundaries and the reset. Listen, focus on what you can control, which is your work right now. You shouldn't be looking at all these other people. These other people are just trying to make this because they're trying to get the views, right? For example, they say, okay, let's, you know, the grade boundaries. Okay, is this going to happen again? Is this going to reset? That's just, I don't know, man. It's like, it's the wrong way of looking at things. It's the wrong way to focus. The reason why I'm making this video is because I want you to try and focus on your studies and take that, whatever's happened there, forget it, ignore it. It is what it is. It's done. There's nothing you can do. And it can even happen again for your other subjects. Have you thought about that? I just, oh man, like it's it's an easy thing to do. And I know this sounds harsh and you're probably not going to agree with here, but I let me uh, let me explain this. It's an easy thing to look at, okay, because this person or these people cheated, they're going to bring these great boundaries up and we might do a reset. Oh my, that's it. My, my whole exam revision is gone now. That's an easy thing to look at because now you're looking at an excuse, even though it is an injustice. I agree with you. That's not, that's nothing in your fault. But you're looking at that and then you're, and you're bringing yourself down and you're feeling like, okay, this was all pointless or this revision. No, it's not. You still got a lot to work for, man. And even if you've done the work and even if it didn't go according to plan, the best thing is at least if you know in your heart of your heart that you've given it everything, even if you don't get the grade, you don't have any regrets, man. You don't have any regrets because you know here that you've given it everything. And that's, that's all you can do. That is all you can do. Right? So I want you to just... 
trying to take a step back, okay? There's so much noise going on at the moment, okay? With, oh, could the great boundaries increase? Could the, uh, you know, do we have to reset? What does this mean for all of us? Listen, the way they normally do great boundaries anyway is look at nationally. They look at the whole of UK and see how people do. And that's how normally they kind of use the great boundaries. It's the same thing at university. When you go to university, they'll look at your whole class, right? How many people have got first class, two, one, for, you know, two, two and all that stuff. And then from there, they make up the great boundaries. If there's only certain amount of people here that have cheated, is it going to really affect the whole, you know, the whole UK? I don't know. It depends on how far it has. But even if it does, that is not in your control. There's nothing you can do. What you can do is now focus on what you have to do. It, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Yes, I understand. But remember, this is distraction. This is noise. Okay, this person cheated. Fine. Okay, I can't control that. That's the mindset that you have to have. Okay, I just got to focus on my work. And I've got to give it everything. Because even if you don't get the grade, as long as you know you've done it, you're good, man. But you don't want to have that regret when you get the results and thinking, oh shoot, I didn't get the grade. I could have done more work, but I didn't do more work because I gave up because these people cheated. Who won in the end? Those people won because they got to you. Can you see that? I just, I just, I just got, yeah, that, that, just, that just clicked in my head. Those people, right? Think of it this way. Just, I just, yeah. Those people in a way have won because they got to you mentally and now you didn't, put the work in or you you gave up because of what's happened do you see that that's interesting isn't it and that's why you have like these distractions these noises these kind of setbacks you cannot look at it as oh my gosh that's it it's over for me or okay there's no point of me revising there are going to be obstacles and challenges in your life every day Especially when you get out of you, you know, your education, when you go into university, when you're out of university and you go into the real world of the, the corporate world, you are going to get, you're going to get, what's the word? Injustice is happening to you every single time when it's not even your fault. And you have to find a way to deal with that. That's going to happen. That's a fact of life. If you think the world is so cushy where everything's going to happen the way you want it, you are, you are living in a del delusional world. I'll be real here. You're living in a delusional world. Right, because this is what I'm trying to say. Like everything has been so soft and cushy, sugar coated. Like everything is gonna be okay. That's the kind of world that most people are trying are living in, right? Or they think that, that that's gonna be good, but that's not the way it works, man. Life is a very very difficult place, but you can overcome it and you can harden your mind. If you look at my the videos that I've done previously, man, like it is there is hints and touches and relevance of life that I bring into that. It's not just education in the sense that okay do this do that man i don't there's so much more than that man so i want you to understand like with what just happened okay it's happened fine what can i do is there anything i could do about that no it's out of my control but what i can do is carry on with my timetable carry on carry on with my revision that is all i can do whatever happens happens that's it man you can't do anything about it like if you want to fret about it if you want to think about it okay by all means do that but you know you're wasting valuable time you know you're wasting valuable time because that time that you could have used instead of worrying, you could have used productively in your next, you know, subjects to revise for. Don't be looking at all these, you know, social medias, Twitter, TikTok and YouTube is where they're trying to make it seem as if, oh, it's such a big deal. Oh my gosh, this and that. And they're trying to make it so analytical, like, oh, okay, let's look at this and that. And what happened if we do, if there is a cheating, what happens to the grey boundaries? What, what does it matter to you anyway? How about focusing on, okay, if the grey boundaries go up, that means I need to put more work. How about focusing on that? That's the right way of focusing, man. That's what you should be focusing on as opposed to, oh my gosh, if the great brand result, that means, okay, so this is the thing, right? This is the thing I don't really understand is that like, people think that, oh, because now the great brand is going to go up, I'm not going to get the grade. How about you thinking, okay, if I just carry on with my work and keep doing what I had set, that, set out to do, I still have a chance of doing it. See, that's what I'm saying about the mentality. It's, the, it's a mind shift where people think of the, they, they look at whatever excuse there is and then use that to bring themselves down and then give up. That's 99% of the population, that's how they are. If that's how you want to be, then fine, do it, man. And like I said, maybe this is going to interact a lot of people say, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. But I'm telling you from experience, man, that this stuff that you're, you're experiencing right now, you are going to experience it a hundred times more when you get out of, get out of education. You're going to, like, for example, promotion, when you're in a job and you want to get yourself promoted and you think you've done everything right, but then there's other, the other person who gets promoted more, than, you know, quicker than you, who gets, who gets, who gets to nod and you don't get promoted. And then you're thinking like, hold up, I did everything I did. I did everything right. How is this guy or this girl getting ahead of me? 
what the heck? I've been here for longer as well. This shit happens. This stuff happens, but what you, and that is something that you can't control, but what you can do is knowing that you've given it everything from here. If you've given everything from your heart and you've actually put the work in, no one can say anything to you, man. Do you know why? Because you know within yourself that you've given it everything. And if someone wants to say that you haven't, who cares? You know that you have to understand when you come back and you sit in your room and you stare at yourself in the mirror, if you do that, but if you're in your room, do you, you know to yourself if you put the work in? You'll know. Your soul will tell you, man. Your soul will tell you. And a lot of people don't listen to their soul, right? Because they think it's like, ah, whatever. And it's in insecurity because they don't want to deal with the truth. But if you're a person that wants to know the truth and is open to the truth, your soul will tell you little hints and messages when you're by yourself. It will do that. And when you're able to look at yourself when your soul is telling you and saying, you know what, I actually did as much as I can. You'll be at peace with yourself. It doesn't matter if someone cheated. It doesn't matter if this person did better than you, even though they did this when you went this way. It doesn't matter because you know you've done everything. So what I would say to you, like, in my, in my, my kind of my way of looking at it is like, okay, shit has happened. Fine. What can I do? I can't control who's going to cheat. I can't control who I can't control who else is going to cheat in the future papers. But what I can control is the work that I need to do. Stick to my timetable, stay focused and keep pushing. That's all. Hopefully you've taken something from this video and it's allowed you to open your mind about, you know, how do you deal with these kind of challenges and obstacles. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe as well if you want to see more content like this. But yeah, man, listen, it is what it is. Everything starts from zero. When are you going to start? Peace.